5 AA Mornings with Matthew Pantelis. 27 to 12 on 5 AA. Going through to 12.30 today. No 7 News. They're broadcasting the cricket. So Tammy and I are putting in half an hour overtime uh, until uh, until 12.30 conversations with Cornsey then. Joining me in the studio now, Penny Reedy, Marketing Communications Manager for the SA Produce Market and Campaign Manager for Pick a Local Pick SA. What a great campaign. Penny, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming in. So well, let's start with that. Pick a Local Pick SA. What's that campaign? about? So that campaign's been running for over a decade. It's a big red dot that says pick a local pick a safe fruit and veg and it's all about supporting horticulture in South Australia. So when you see that big red dot in an independent fruit and veg store, you know that you're supporting a South Australian business that are buying their produce primarily South Australian grown in season produce and supporting our growers here in SA. Okay, so fruit and veg, that's that's what we're talking about. Fruit yeah. and veg, yes. So uh, buying in season locally grown we've got so much good stuff here in our state we're just talking off here about the stone fruit around at the moment and uh it's it's so plentiful and so good yeah we are very very spoiled here Mm. in south australia we have a produce bowl right on our doorstep so we it's really important people don't understand what's in season so a lot of the work that i talk about is educating people on what's in season and how they can support the south australian growers by buying that in season locally grown produce it's so good for the economy but um it's also good for the environment the carbon footprint you're obviously if you're buying in season produce it's not having to come from interstate or overseas um so it's not having to travel faster then it's also fresher so we were talking about when you when you eat something straight off of a tree how how come it tastes so much better well it's that freshness so when you're buying in season produce from an independent fruit and vegetable store that's one of the things that you'll find the quality and the freshness of the produce because it doesn't have that big travel time. It's yep. a lot smaller supply chain. So uh, that's why we love it. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, you drive through the hills in so many different places, not just east but south as well and even north. You pull over on a quiet road somewhere by a fruit stall, you get the best possible yeah. fruit. Yeah, we do have some really good roadside yeah. stalls, particularly up in the Adelaide Hills. You know, we've got that growing region in the Adelaide Hills and you've got the northern Adelaide Plains where yeah. we've got lots of growing going on out there. You've got the Riverland, you know, we're very plentiful of yeah. all around us here in South Australia. Do growers still come down from the Riverland? I know there were a few around the city, I don't know, 10 years ago, and I, I don't see them around anymore. Uh, they do a little yeah. bit. Um, I think, you know, there's a few farmers markets yeah. They operate on the weekends, even at the South Australian Produce Market, sure. which is the wholesale market for produce in South Australia. Yeah. We obviously, the growers bring their produce there and yeah. then we distribute them for them because we're the central distribution. Mm. We also have a public farmer's market on a Sunday called the SA Farmer's Market that over 7,000 people come yeah. to every week and a lot of the Riverland growers will bring their yeah, stuff right. down there as well. It's good. All right, let's look at what's in season. So strawberries, they're, they're around at the moment. I absolutely love South Australian yeah. strawberries and I'm very biased. I think we have the best strawberries in the country and I I always wait for them to come out. I don't like buying interstate ones. And this is one of the things people say to you in the middle of winter, how come the strawberries taste terrible? Mm. Well, it's because they're not South Australian grown. So they're fresher, they're here on our doorstep and we've got some fantastic growers who are doing amazing things. So plenty of supplies at the moment. The good thing about strawberries as well, if you want to support the local growers, a lot of the strawberry growers are also cherry growers. Now we have a terrible, terrible cherry season last year, like, you know, 70, 80% loss of the crops. So and it started late, didn't it, it as well? It started late, yeah. and then we had rain, and those yeah. poor growers. So, you know, let's help those growers get back on their feet. They are, most of them have got strawberries as well. So yeah. when you're buying your strawberries, look for South Australian grown, and um, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> I know apricots are starting to be on the way out now, probably, you know, might be even too late. Uh, but cherries, are they still around? No, you will find cherries we're kind of bringing in from Tasmania okay. at the moment, so there are still a little bit around, but pretty much the South yeah. Australian ones are all, all finished up. So, But it is stone fruit yes. season, so I love stone fruit season, and, you know, we've got peaches and nectarines. Yes. And what you will find at the moment is a couple of really unique lines of plums that we've got okay. growing that are only a very short season. So there's a couple of plum 
some varieties that people always ask for, like when are they around? So now's the time. If you're after your queen garnet plums, right. you will find them for about a six-week period they're grown in South Australia. They are available at the moment. Now, these are really um, known for their, like, they're a superfood. So okay. they're full of antioxidants. People that, you know, are very health conscious will be looking for queen garnet plums. About six, eight weeks, superfood, really high, um, really good for gut health and low in yeah, calories. Right. The other line is also called the Satsuma plums. Now, there's an orchard. A lot of people, if they know um, apples, pears, plums in South Australia, they might have heard of Megari orchards before up in the hills. Right. And um, they are known for their really high quality produced um, fruit. Um, so they've got the Satsuma plums at the moment. So anyone looking for a Megari orchard Satsuma plum, now's the time because they will go very, very quickly. I imagine all these too. You can make great jam out of them. Yeah. So the good thing about both of those is they're actually both good eating yeah. and good for jamming okay. as well. So, but yeah, some, some plums not so good for eating, but yeah, these ones are. And, um, but like you said, with stone fruits, apricots are on their way out. So if you're after them this season, make sure you grab some of them yeah. in the next week or so. Okay. <laughs> now apples are swapping over in terms of varieties. Yeah. So what we see is, so Adelaide, um, we produce huge amounts of apples up in the Adelaide Hills. I love our apples. It's interesting. I was I was in Bali over Christmas and the driver over there actually said to me, oh, you're from South Australia. You have amazing apples. And I was like, oh, well, yeah. yes, we do. But I didn't realise yeah. we travelled across across the sea. So, yeah, we were very fortunate. Um, so the, the old season Adelaide apples, so last seasons, will be coming to an end. So we keep them in storage so that we have them for the whole year round. Yeah, right. They will start picking in the Adelaide Hills in a couple of weeks. So the new season varieties are going to start coming. But as we're getting to the end of the ones that are in storage, there's a bit of a gap that's filled by Riverland grown apples. So they'll be coming through. They'll probably, you'll probably see some Riverland apples on your shelves at the moment just for a couple of weeks. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Adelaide Hills apple season. We have amazing apples. Yeah, there we go. Um, I I had a question I don't know, ages ago. I must have been talking. I don't even recall the circumstances. Someone texted through. Delicious and golden delicious red delicious and golden do we still have them can you still get them I saw some in a food land and grabbed them recently. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. I've definitely yeah. seen them around. I think there's a there's so many varieties of apples though. You know? Yeah, yeah. And there's probably some more modern ones that are taking up a bit more shelf space. Mm. Um, Lenswood up in the Adelaide Hills do an amazing apple called the Missile Apple, oh. which is a like a a, a baby sized apple, full of flavour, full of crunch. Really good for when you don't want a big hearty yeah, yeah, apple. Yeah. Great for kids. Great for older people that just want to smaller snack as yeah. well so them the fujis the bravos the Kansies, mm. like there's so many varieties yeah, yeah, there so. are, aren't there? lots to choose from yes and if you've got questions regarding fruit and veg penny reedy's here now and uh love to hear from you eight double two three double oh double oh let's look at some veg penny and uh green tomatoes ah uh, i love green tomatoes so, they so hang are on green tomatoes are a veg they, tomatoes well <laughs> i put them into veg they're not really are they they're a fruit <laughs> okay. so but um one of the things i love about my job is i walk walk around the wholesale market at six o'clock in the morning yeah. and I get to see, you know, all the produce being traded. And I love when I spot something that I haven't seen for a while. And last week I saw this beautiful box of green tomatoes and I went, oh my gosh, are they grown here in South Australia? Yes, they are. They look fantastic. So if you haven't had green tomatoes before, they're slightly tart and tangy. Okay. Um, they've got quite a firm texture as well. So they'll hold up really well if you're cooking with tomatoes. So they're probably not the sort of tomato that you're going to put on your ham and cheese right. tomato sandwich. Okay. But if you're going to, if you want something to fry or saute or pickle, that's the one to go for. And they have got lower sugar levels than your red counterparts as well. So. Right. For a bit of inspiration, something a little bit different to put into the fruit and veg basket this week. Look out for South Australian growing green tomatoes. What about sourcing tomatoes? Well, we love this. We have massive Italian communities here in South Australia who love to get their sauce on and have a whole day. So people will start asking, when are they coming? So I have seen some growers that have said they should be here in the next week or two. So if you're planning a sourcing day, okay. don't, don't stress about it. There will definitely be plenty around in the next few weeks. So you 
you can go into your local fruit and veg store and pre-order like okay. a whole box if yeah. you're after them because they can get them from from the market. So that's you know an advantage of shopping at an independent yeah. local fruit and veg. You can actually ask them for what you're after; they'll get it for you and keep it aside. How about that? Uh, zucchini that's around at the moment. It is. So all of those kind of glasshouse lines are doing really well yeah. at the moment. It's that kind of season. They're all coming from the northern Adelaide plains. We've got some great growers out there yeah. in Virginia. So zucchini are really good supplies. So when we've got good supplies, um, you'll find good pricing on things as well. That's what it also kind yeah. of equates to. Don't really like to talk about pricing, but good supply means good pricing as well. So from the northern Adelaide plains, and I love zucchini in that they're so versatile. Like yeah. there's so much that you can do with them. I'm a vegetarian, so I love cooking with zucchinis. I use them for zucchini lasagna. Yeah. So they're a good replacement for like those pastas if you're looking to cut some of your carbs out. You can stuff them with spinach and ricotta and yeah, and plenty, plenty that you can do with that. So look out for them. You'll get them at really good prices and kind of change up your weekly shopping this week. You know, you talk about the, uh, the Adelaide Plains there and um, most times you drive along Port Wakefield Road, for instance, <clears throat> and see, see the land either side out there where obviously they're growing crops, but you don't get a sense of how extensive it is. Oh, yeah. Un- until you take a back road, yeah. a dirt road usually. And you're in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by zucchinis or whatever. Yeah. It's amazing how enormous that food bowl is. It absolutely is. I mean, zucchinis, you've got all those mm. glass house yeah. lines, but then you also have cauliflowers. We've got massive cauliflower growers out there. You've got Nichols carrots who are doing carrots and mm. onions. You've got zarellas and matolos that are growing potatoes out there. Like, yeah. it's amazing. And as well as that, all the Asian growers that are doing those Asian lines as well, um, which I love getting their kind of fresh corianders and yeah. things like that. So, the other big thing we have out there is um, hydroponics yes. as well. So, we've got a couple of really big hydroponic growers out there as well um, who, so uh, uh, you might have remembered a little while ago we, uh, what I call lettuce gate when the iceberg lettuces went up to, you know, $19 a, a head or whatever they were last wow. year. Um, so there's always an alternative. So that's one of the things I like to talk about. So hydro lettuces are a really good alternative to your iceberg. So green leaf, um, red oak, green oak, um, baby cods, they're all grown hydroponically yeah. and a really good way to switch up your salads as yeah, well. So. Yeah. I'm a traditionalist, I've got to tell you. You iceberg. like the iceberg? <laughs> oh, my God. And, and, you know, my wife buys this horrible thing called Rocket. I love Rocket. I can't stand Rocket, <laughs> and it tastes... You know, it tastes like cat's wheat. It depends where you mix it with. So, rock it with a bit of feta and some walnuts, a bit of olive oil. Yeah. Oh, it's great. <laughs> Pears in there as well. My my teenage son loves a pear and feta and rocket salad. It's amazing. Everyone's yeah. different. It's a bit like coriander. Very divisive, isn't yes, it? Yes, coriander. E- absolutely. You, you either love it or you yeah, hate it. Yeah, that's up there with rocket. All right. <laughs> so, Penny, if anyone wants to uh, to have a look now, I suppose the the market would have a website, wouldn't it? The market does. Um, we do have a great. Facebook page for Pick a Local, Pick a Save. Okay. It's got great recipes, Fantastic. ideas on what's in season, a link through to where you can find your local fruit and veg store as yep. well. Um, so if you want to buy your in season and support a local business, head on to there and it'll have plenty of information on there for you. Great having a chat with you today, Penny. We'll do this regularly through, uh, well, monthly at least. Sounds good. I'd love to come in and talk to your listeners and send their, their questions in. Happy to chat to them. Fantastic. Penny Reedy, my guest, who is uh, Mark and communications manager, SA Produce Market, and campaign manager for Pick a Local Pick SA. You'll find that one on Facebook and have a look at some of the great produce we have available right now in season here in uh, our wonderful state, Food Bowl State of South Australia. Quarter to 12 on 5AA. The 5AA.